Okay, so Euro Truck Simulator 2 had an update, 1.5 or 1.50, and they've changed the whole of the interface. It's a major update that has made it all a little bit confusing. I mean, it's streamlined. It seems to be a lot easier to navigate. You've got these, like, up arrows that lead into things. So if we wanted to check our uh, trucks and our drivers and stuff, we just go to company. If you want to look at jobs here, but not only that, when you click on them, it takes you through to the markets and stuff, but then you get all of the things in the up uh, arrow box you get them all along here so it's, it's actually really easy to navigate it's just where i'm so used to the old interface it's uh, been a little bit confusing it takes a while to get used to and what we're going to do is because i want to see what's happening in game as well is we're going to do a little job and i'm not going to do the freight market i saw a quick job that was available we don't get the fastest of trucks but there is one here where we're taking nintendo switch accessories and we are doing a 395 mile drive we're in a 500 horsepower Scania. I'm hoping this is okay. We'll get 26 grand at the end of it, but let's uh, let's take this quick job. Here we go. So we are in, and it's going to take me a little while to get used to everything again. Because one, I haven't played for a little while, and two, I remember that I changed things around so that I weren't using the virtual like rear view mirrors. So we are fully connected. Oh, we're double trailering again. It just there seems to be the only thing we ever do so do we have oh we do have a visible thing i don't remember the button to get this off the screen is it f5 no that's my zoom isn't it um how do i i completely forgot how to hide the uh sat nav hold up let me check it out there we go i figured it out it's f3 so we do have the uh the navigation set up we've got right, voice ahead. as you're here we've got voice assistant set up turn right I don't, I don't know if we're, we're supposed to be on the right side of the road, yeah? I, I think we're only on the left side in uh, the UK. Oh, no. Don't worry, I'm being stupid. We've got to go up there, I'm guessing. I, I don't want to go too quick. You know what I've just thought? I think the last time I played this, I did a challenge video where I weren't allowed to break. So S was disabled for braking and reversing. <laughs> so I just had to rebind it because I've jumped into the ferry and I've not been able to brake. I, I can't remember if I changed anything else. I don't think I did. I think it was just not being able to brake. But yeah, the, <laughs> I've had an absolute nightmare. Right, so we've traveled abroad and we're now in the right country for the job drop off it was a nine hour drive so we've got a go nice night on. sky what do you mean go straight on if i go straight on i'm crashing into the back of a trailer you idiot um i can't go through there can i no i've got to keep going around i just i need to get used to this again can we get a, an external view look at the night sky look how cool that is with the mods and stuff let's go through here it's saying this is the way out anyway. That's one thing I've just remembered as well. If I click in one of my mouse buttons, I can zoom in and we can see destination 941. There's a few things we can see there, but the thing that I can't see is how many miles we've got until the end of the job. We've got to do it right here. I think I've been to this place a lot. So we've got no traffic coming that way, none coming that way. So we can take this as wide as we need to. I believe I've also got night and daytime for the sat nav. So when it's nighttime like this, it's got a white background, purple line. And then I believe when it goes daytime, it's got a dark background. Like it's basically got light and dark mode. Um, talking of light and... Oh, no, it's when I do my lights. There we go. So, yeah, this is a dark mode. It's got the black background. And then during the day, it's got the white. It's been nice and calm so far, and I've got realistic uh, traffic on. So because of the time, I believe the time is uh, 1.40 in the morning. Now because of the time, there's not a lot of traffic on the road. The only thing is, since the 1.5 update, I had a mod on for realistic rain, and that mod's no longer compatible. So, um, yeah, the rain's going to go back to the default game rain. But it's not too much of a problem. I'm not overly bothered about the rain. I'm just glad I can keep all the company names and stuff. Because we've got like Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo. There's, I think there's a few alcohol brands in there. There's like Krispy Kreme and stuff. Samsung, I think, is even there. 
And I'm really hoping we get some money built up because I've currently got like a quarter of a mil. I don't think there's any loans that we have to pay back. Our drivers are doing okay. I might as well just double lane this for a while. We've got open road. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping by the time we get to level 25, we've got enough money to upgrade some of the trucks. Because I love one of the trucks. It's got like over 700 horsepower. It's rapid. And it's got really good pulling power because of the horsepower. So I'm just hoping I can get that truck, upgrade my drivers, or not even upgrade their trucks. They can just have like the, uh, your standard trucks. If we can get another garage going with more drivers and more trucks, we'll have money coming in faster. And I know I take massive, massive breaks of playing this game. I don't think I played this game on the channel for like four months again. Go straight on. But I do enjoy coming back to it even if I do take big breaks. And hopefully at some point one day we will have a lot of money in the bank. Not just a quarter of a mil, I'm talking like multiple millions. I would like to be able to play this game a lot more. It's just there's so many games that come out, even if they're just little indie games. There's so many games that come out, so many things to cover. I just don't get enough time to just chill and play games like this. And like recently we've done the Men of War 2 video. I'm going to be getting some more standard gameplay on the channel alongside the tips again. Because I'm pretty much just taking my channel. Like I've, I've usually had a theme with my channel. I don't know how long this one's going to last again. <laughs> I've said this multiple times. But I, I used to have themes. So I would go through like rant phases. Then I'd go through playing games. Then I'd go through tips. I think now it's just whatever I feel like recording on the day, whether it's a tips video, a rant, um, and is it worth playing, random gameplay, whatever it is, I'm just going to stick it all on the channel. Because it's all content at the end of the day. Things I enjoy, things I feel should be covered, games I actually want to play rather than following the latest trends of the big AAA releases that end up being shit for like 70 quid and things like that. We're going to have a lot more Go fun on the channel. Down with some rants and stuff thrown in with a lot of tips and tricks for the games that I am playing any uh, feedback or suggestions and stuff is always welcome leave it in the comments we are doing alright I've not had too many turns I'm paying attention to my sat nav when I can we are pushing that speed we're going 80 miles an hour now it's quarter past 3 in the morning so the uh, sky is slowly changing still got loads of stars out that I can see especially in that uh, top left mirror or e even just your standard rear view mirror the left one See loads and loads of stars. Yeah, see this truck doesn't... Like, it's 500 horsepower, but its pulling power was not actually that great. Because we were on basically a straight. There was a little bit of an upward hill, like a tiny bit of an incline. And uh, we were stuck at like 70 mile an hour. It just keep wouldn't right. push any faster. It's telling me to keep right. She's telling me to keep right. I, I can't see out of that mirror. I'm pretty sure we got in front of that car though. We are going quite a bit faster than the, uh, the traffic. Take right. the right exit. There we go. Onto this one. Slow down quite a bit. I'm glad my brakes are working now. I can't believe I forgot to uh, reassign the key. I normally do all that stuff. Like if I do a challenge video, for an example, like turning the brakes off, I normally turn them back on before I exit the game so that I don't have to uh, worry about it when I next load it up. But I don't forget to do it. Well, uh, stupid me forgot to do it. And yeah, I almost uh, started crashing loads. Because I didn't have the ability to break. And with this 1.5 update, they've changed all of the like menu interface and everything like that. As I showed you at the beginning. It seems as though they haven't done much, if anything, in the actual game world when you're driving. But I do know that they've done reworks for a few of the different cities. I don't even know if they're in countries that I own the DLC for. But they've done a lot with the 1.5 update. Or the 1.50, 1.50, whatever you want to call it. I don't like this. We're now stuck in single lane traffic. And they're all slowing down. Go straight on. I'm going to go straight on. That van's turning, yeah? Nice. Get out of my way. Give me that free road. So we just had a massive stretch of essentially motorway. We've knocked quite a lot of time off the expected delivery time because it was 10.01 when we last on. checked it's now going to be like just before half nine or something we've taken a good half an hour off it um i'm gonna have to go into a little bit of oncoming i just want to get ahead of that car and ahead of this one don't make me crash i should not be overtaken there but i did it and it's paid off luckily 
Well, they all stopped anyway. Why, why have they got a traffic backup? What caused that then? Did the person stall the car or something? The engine cut out. What? I, I don't get what happened there. It was just a car stopped. I mean, unless the traffic registered that I was there to not crash into me. Which I don't think is going to happen as Euro Trucks him too. I've just seen what's in front of us. There's another brand that I forgot to mention. We do get the good old Harry bow in here as well. Are you serious? That is the most ridiculous thing. Uh, we are good for traffic on that side. I, I, that merge of the two lanes is ridiculous. Like that's gonna, that should have caused a crash. It's just lucky that I've got the ability to use my brakes. Whoa, this is disgusting. The state of this... I can't actually get any power up this hill. If the truck was any worse than this, it would have been game over here. I would have had to take a massive detour or just quit the job. I would have quit the job. I don't, I don't even know if there is a detour. But look, we can barely pull this thing up the hill. And there's a merge. That is stupid. That hill is far too steep. We had to put 740 litres into it for nearly 1,500 euros. That's crazy. Yeah, see, your fuel expenses are covered by your employer. How dare you put out in front of me like that? Right, there is no traffic, so we're jumping into lane. There we go. So, yeah, I was, I was right. We've got the distance, the uh, litres, and then we've got the bar that show us the fuel. We've got a tunnel coming up. Oh, this is a short one. I was going to do that thing where you hold your breath as you're going through the tunnel. Make your ears pop and everything. That was far too short. I mean, I don't know if it's actually classes that short. We are going like 70... We, we were going like 75 miles an hour. Look at this for a junction. How many roads? Look, hold up. We've got to pay attention to that. Look at how crazy that is. That's insane. Is this tunnel longer? Everyone hold your breath. Go. Well, we did it. I nearly passed out. That was a lot longer than the previous tunnel. I'm, gl I'm glad we chose to do it at that one. If, if anyone joined in, obviously. We've got less than an hour on the destination timer. Still trying to get my breath back. <laughs> that was quite a long tunnel. Uh, we've got less than an hour left, which means less than three minutes real time. Because it is three minutes to an hour in the game. So three minutes real life time, one hour in game. But it obviously depends on traffic and road speeds and things like that. Because if we can get up to, for an example, 80 miles an hour, we'll be there in like 1 minute 40 or something like that. And we did have an expected delivery time of 10.01 a.m. It's currently quarter past 8 Go and we've got about 40. We've knocked about an hour off the uh, delivery time. Which is always nice. Make the journey quicker. Oh, I think I can see Keep the right. destination. Then and yes, I know we're in a tunnel, but I'm not doing it this I would have passed out by now. This has been a really long tunnel. I didn't mean to go right. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. That was quite a nice little split to get to where we're going. I enjoyed that. Right, here we go. So, we have to turn left. Um, let's have a look. We've got nothing that way. No, I'm just I'm pulling out because it looked empty. Right, we're 100% straight now. I've had to turn it all the way around. I'm glad I've got a big space to do it in. This better work. We've done this with no damage or anything like that, so I'm actually quite happy with this job. Oh, I'm, I'm putting the parking brake on there. Decouple, get me out of here. So, we need, what, 344 XP to hit level 21. We go from master to instructor at level 25, which is the level I want to be. Apparently, you need to be an instructor to drive the uh, high horsepower truck. 
We did 395 miles, took 17 hours in game. That's actually quite long. But that was only, I think it was eight hours of driving. So roughly 24 minutes. There was nine hours on the ferry, if I remember correctly. But yeah, we ended up with over 1100 XP, 26 and a half grand. We was on like 252, I think it was. So let's see if we've actually made any money from our drivers whilst we were on that job. Because I never got notifications. We did not. And I believe our profit over seven days has dropped too. So if I go, would it be company, driver, manager, finishes in 49 hours, uh, finishes in seven hours, finishes in eight hours, finishes in 42. I'm looking down here. So I'm not even going to look at the freight market and the quick job right now. We are going to leave it there. Then when we come back to the game, whenever that may be, we're going to take a look at all of the jobs, a fresh look at them, and we're going to see exactly what's on offer. I don't want to look now and say, right, we're going to take this job. And then when I next load the game up to record, that job's not there or something like that. So what we're going to do is leave that one there. That was a look at the changes to the interface and stuff. And to do a little job after the 1.5 update in Euro Truck Simulator 2. So leaving that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this game and the update in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.